let me teach you regression. If you have this type of question, this is S as is for the height of six people. Why is the weight of six people? Okay? This question is saying, consider the table above. Determine the linear regression line of Y on X. And estimate the weight when the height is 16. Two in one question. The first is linear regression line of Y on X. What is the formula for linear regression? It says Y is equals to A plus B X. So what you need to do now, you find A, you find B. In case you don't know, this is the dependent variable. This S is the independent variable. Why do we call this one dependent variable? Because if you increase this or decrease this, it will affect this. But the increment of this does not affect this. But this question it says, what is the linear regression line of Y on X? This is it. All you need to do now is to find A and B. How do we find A? To find A, you use this formula. That is, from here you get A. That is, to get A now, A becomes equals to Y minus BX. Okay? This is why you are looking at what Y are we talking about. That is, the mean of this, the mean. So, that is to say, the mean of Y minus B, the mean of X. That is, you had everything at divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is mean. For the mean of y, you had everything at divide by 6. Okay? So here, to get A is the mean of y minus B, which you are going to get first, because you need to get B before you can get A. Multiply by the mean of S. Now what is the formula to get B. The formula to get B is this. B, which is the coefficient of S, as you can see, is equal to the number of items we are considering. Multiplied by the summation of S and Y. That is, to get this now, it simply means, first of all, multiply each of this. Multiply them, multiply them. Once you multiply that, you create a new line for them. That is, S, Y line. Which you multiply and put each value. Then you sum them together. That is the meaning of this. You sum them together. Okay? After that, the next one is, you sum all the X. All these S. You sum all of them. Multiply by, you sum all the Y. That is, the summation of this multiplied by the summation of this. All over the number of items again, summation of the square of x. You square each of them, then you add them. You square each of them, then you add them together. Minus the summation of s. It's square. You sum everything, then you square. That is the meaning of this. Sum all the value of x, then you square. This is a formula to get b. Okay? So what we are going to do now is we need to create separate columns. There will be a column for the multiplication of this, a new column. There's going to be another new column for x square. Okay? That is the two new columns we need to get. We already have column for S, we have column for Y. Let's see. So, this is the formula I explained to you just now. This is the original question. As you can see, these are all the S, all the S. If you add this, 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 you get 68. This one too, if you add them, you have 112. Okay? Next step. Because we also need this 
S1. We have another table for S1. What is this? It means this multiplied by this, that is this multiplied by this, this multiplied by this. You multiply them, multiply them, multiply them. I continue to put the values on this column. Okay? Once you do that, you see sum all of them together. That is this value. Then, you go for this first one, you square each of them. 12 square, 10 square, and so on and so forth. You put the value like this. Then, you sum all of them together to get this value. Once you have done that now, all you need to do here is to substitute here. What are you substituting? You substitute B as equal to N is 6. Why 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 people. Multiply by the summation of this. That is, this 1, 29. Minus this, the summation of X. That is this, 68. Multiply by this summation. 1, 1, 2. All over. 6 again for N. This one is this. 7, 8, 6. Minus this is the square of the summation of the, that is, this you are seeing here. You square it, that is 68 square. That is all. Check it. There's a problem here because only this is more than this. Okay, let me get a calculator. Ah, there is two missing here. There is two here. Okay, there is two missing there. So we need to put two here. That two is missing. So the next thing I need to do now is to work on this and get the answer. This is what? 136 over 92. Let's divide this. This is approximately 1.48. Okay? That is B. So to get our A, we've agreed that we have to get it from here. Y equals to A plus BX. So A therefore is Y minus B X. And this is me, this is me. So we need to get this mean. That is the sum of Y, that is 1, 1, 2, all over 6. Because there are 6 in number. That is the mean. Then B, we already know B now, 1.48. 1.48 multiplied by the mean of S. The mean of S, as you can see here, is 68. Divide by 6. So, let's plug in this information. This is 18.67 minus 16.77. Okay? If we subtract this now, we have 1.9. So, with this information we have now, we can go back to this Regression line, I impute the values. The first one is A. A is 1.9 plus B, 1.48x. This is the formula. So this is the regression line of Y on X. The question also asks us, Estimate the weight when the height is 16. It means that the height, as you can see here, is x. We are going to put 16 in place of x. So here we say y, 1.9 plus 1.4 multiplied by 16. Let me get a calculator. This is 25.6. This is what? The value of why when s is 16 this is how to solve regression first of all you get the coefficient of b you get a constant a once you get the two then you substitute to get the regression line of y on x you can solve any other question after that all this understood thank you for viewing